Welcome to my YouTube channel, a binary of seven. In this lecture, I am going to give the solutions of assignment six of advanced concrete technology. So, coming to first question, which of which among the following mineral admixtures contain the maximum reactive silica? So, he has given class F fly ash, class C fly ash. And silica fume and the ground granulated blast furnace slag. Out of all these pores, which will be having maximum reactive silica? So coming to class F fly ash. So class F fly ash will have low calcium and silica. It is not having maximum reactive silica. And class C fly ash has high calcium and low silica coming to silica fume it has high purity silica it has very high purity silica in this around 95 to 96 percentage of silica is reactable that is reactive and the ground granulated blast furnace slag is similar to class C fly ash. Okay, these two are almost same. Now, among all options, silica fume is the one having high purity silica in that almost 95% of the silica is reactive. So, Option C for question number 1. Coming to second question. For a binder which is a latent hydraulic, the lime to silica ratio is that is CaO to SiO2 is equal to the ratio of CaO by SiO2 is. So it's approximately is equal to 1 in latent hydraulic. So latent hydraulic is one of the binder. So first we will discuss about types of binders. Types of binders. So the first binder is hydraulic cement. So in this hydraulic cement more amount of calcium is there and the ratio of lime to silica is almost equal to 3. It will react with water without need for activation. So that is hydraulic cement directly reacts with water even without need for activation. Clear. Next binder is latent hydraulic. In this lime to silica ratio is almost equal to 1. In this there is some less amount of calcium compared to hydraulic cement. This hydration can in this hydration can be activated by enabled by activation. Hydration can be enabled by activation. Now coming to third binder is pojolonic hydraulic. In pojolonic hydraulic there is lot of deficiency that is very low content of calcium. The ratio of lime to silica is less than 0.2. So this will react with water. Okay. So for this question option A Coming to question number 3, identify the incorrect statement. When we have added certain fly ash to the fresh concrete or else when we have replaced certain fly ash with some cement portion, there are few properties of the concrete will be changed. So first one is Workability and flow of concrete can be increased. Workability and flow of concrete 
can be increased because spherical shape of fly ash particles <coughs> so which lead to ball bearing type effect so that is all these spherical particles of fly ash will slide one over the other that is the concrete can easily workable and flowable so the first statement is correct and the second statement setting time of concrete can be increased by using fly ash replacement and segregation and bleeding effects can be reduced that is the resistance to segregation or resistance to bleeding property can be increased by adding flyers so this is also correct and because of addition of flyers there is more paste in the cement concrete because of the more paste in the cement concrete it can come over the surface whenever this comes over the surface there is more effect shrinkage strains is more so shrinkage strains are more because of fly ash replacement but he has given addition of fly ash reduces plastic shrinkage in concrete generally fly ash can increases plastic shrinkage in concrete so statement 4 is incorrect so answer d for question number 3 coming to question number 4 identify the correct statement LOI test that is loss on ignition test LOI means loss on ignition test obviously this test is used to determine unburnt carbon content unburnt carbon content in fly ash okay so now if unburnt carbon content is more it will interfere with air entraining agent so unburnt carbon content interfere with air entraining agents so that is excessive air entrainment so both one and two are correct and now coming to third statement when fly ash is obtained from pet coke it may cause increase in sulfate content obviously pet cokes are having more sulfate content okay so this is also correct so all the options are correct so the answer is all the above for question number 4 coming to question number 5 a m60 grade concrete is used for the manufacturing of precast tunnel lining segments obviously m60 grade means it is design concrete so the compressive strength of this m60 grade concrete is generally 60 kilo newton per newton per mm square that is 60 mpa because of mineral admixtures can be recommended which of the mineral admixture can be recommended to use the concrete to achieve a faster strength to achieve early strength we need to recommend silica fume because of extreme fine particles are present in the silica form its the surface area is more when the surface area is more the rate of hydration is very high so silica fume very finer particles and early rate of hydration as it is early rate of hydration it will gain more strength faster development that is csh gel formation is more and faster 
development of strength so because of silica fume we can get faster development of the strength so that is option c for question number 5 coming to question number 6 in the ferro silicon industry silica fume is captured by obviously silica fume can be captured in some filters they are called bag house filters okay so option a for question number 6 coming to question number 7 the addition of silica fume can reduce chloride induced corrosion in reinforced concrete this is because it's the most important question in reinforced cement concrete used in next corrosion rate is is reduced with use of silica fume by what reason because of low permeability of silica fume concrete can be concrete cause lower availability of moisture that is water content and oxygen at cathodic sites so the first statement is correct and it has high resistivity to sfc makes the flow of electrons difficult so because of both first and second reasons we can adopt silica fume can reduce corrosion in reinforced concrete so answer d for question number 7 coming to question number 8 the as produced form of silica fume is rarely used and is densified before being supplied commercially this is because so generally the silica fumes when you collect as the powder it has light characteristics light it is very low weight characteristics and these very fine particles are very fine in particle size that is sub micron particles so it is very difficult to handle and transport so handling and transporting is very difficult okay so the answer a for question number 8 coming to ninth question the high surface area of silica fume particles obviously silica fume particles are of very fine in size as they are very fine in size the there is increasing rate of hydration hydration reaction at early ages okay so this statement is correct and silica fume addition increases bleeding in concrete obviously whenever we added silica fume in the concrete it will reduce bleeding and segregation in the concrete okay the statement two is incorrect and silica fume addition increases plastic shrinkage in concrete obviously because of the more paste replacement of silica fume it can increase that is the paste will come over the surface and plastic strain will be increased so this statement is correct so answer b for question number 
8 sorry question number 9 coming to last question slag is the most preferred mineral admixture for making reinforced concrete exposed to marine environment this is because so generally in the marine environment reinforced concrete is preferred to use slag so the main reason is because of chlorides because of chlorides present in the sea water corrosion will occur but by the use of slag slag will contain aluminates as the slag will contain aluminates chlorides and aluminates chlorides will have more affinity to towards aluminates okay then free chlorides will never exist in the concrete or in the sea water then there is less chance of occurring corrosion in the marine because of usage of slag in the cement concrete in the reinforced cement concrete okay I hope you understood this concept. Clear? So the answer is A for question number 10. Thank you.